The Mahindra Thar has been around in the Indian market for a long time now and has remained almost unchallenged. But more importantly, the Mahindra Thar is one of the very few vehicles in the Indian car market that has achieved a cult status. Now, if you look at the old Mahindra Thar, it was always known for its immense off-road capabilities. But its on-road manners weren't really anything to write home about. Now, with the all-new Thar that we have with us here today, Mahindra has tried to rectify a lot of issues and make it much more user-friendly, much more practical, much more daily driving oriented. But at the same time, it has also tried to ensure that the off-road DNA does not get diluted. So has that effort paid off or has the Mahindra Thar become better on road but has gone diluted when it comes to going off-road? Well, it's time to find out. Now, as far as design is concerned, the new Mahindra Thar is pretty much faultless. As a personal opinion, I find the new Thar to be completely stunning. Now, if you look at it up front, it's got each and every element you would want in your rough and tough SUV. It's got the butch and the macho image. It's got a wide, imposing face and that is precisely what you want in a vehicle like Thar. Look at the front, it's got this boxy, squarish look. So yes, it still retains the design elements, it retains the DNA that you would expect from the Thar, but it has just gotten a lot more better now. Look at the complete grille setup. Now this has been integrated really well, the round headlamps. Of course, it's a modern vehicle, so you have these LED DRLs here. The bumper again, it does protrude out and it has got this very nice Thar lettering here. And of course the dual tone again helps it give a little bit more modern flavor. Move on to the side and you still have the old school boxy flavor, the old school boxy design all around and it completely stands out as a macho vehicle. It's got really large wheels and those wheels with Again, fat tires give the side a very dynamic stance. Move over to the rear and there's the spare wheel mounted onto the door and there are modern looking LED tail lamps which look really nice irrespective of the time, look at them. Overall, if you look at the design, the new Mahindra Thar strikes a perfect balance between retaining the old DNA and improving it to look a lot more modern. Now interior is an area where the old Mahindra Thar lacked a lot because all that you had basically was a bare bones interior which was just enough to let you drive the vehicle. But that has completely changed in the new Thar and that's a welcome addition. Now the complete dashboard layout has been changed and what you will notice one of the first things is that you have a centrally mounted touch screen here and this is, although it's not a large touchscreen, but something is better than nothing. Now you have a touchscreen that comes with Android Auto, Apple Car functionality. It's got inbuilt GPS and the touch response too is quite decent. If you look at the resolution, the resolution again is quite nice. So, well again, good numbers for that perspective. And if you look at uh, the overall build quality, it looks solid. Well, I'll not say that the material quality and the quality of the plastics is top-notch because it's not the case but yes they look as if they will stand the test of time you've got this carbon fiber finish here on the air conditioning vents looks good breaks the monotony of a lot of uh, black because at the end of the day what you get is a dark interior here now in the center console you have the air conditioning controls here and you also get two USB points with an aux point and a 12 volt charging socket. In terms of practical space, well, there is a lot of it. The door pockets have bottle holders, good enough for your one liter bottles and still be left with space for small knickknacks. There is some space here to place your mobile phone or your wallet, but there's no wireless charging. And of course, again, there are these dual cup holders here. 
so in terms of uh, practicality the th new thar has really grown a lot even if you look at the seats now the seats are finally very good ones the front seats now offer good cushioning the side support is good and the best part is that the seats have been made in such a way that even if you are someone who has a large body frame you will still be able to find yourself to be quite comfortable here so again that is a good thing and a good way in which the new mahindra thar has evolved now coming to the instrument cluster well the instrument cluster thankfully retains the old school style of analog speedometer and a tachometer but it also has a centrally mounted digital display which gives you a wide variety of information the touch screen itself like i said earlier has a lot of features now one of the good features is adventure statistics so what you can do is once you go into adventure statistics you can view a lot of interesting data such as how much power you're using how much torque you can view a g monitor you can look at a compass and there's an off road mode too so when you're going off road you can see your vehicle angle the incline or the decline angle you can see the side angle what is the sway of the vehicle you can look at the temperature and a lot more stuff so it's not just about giving you a feel good factor the infotainment system here gives you a lot of information that proves to be useful when you go off road and of course it is helpful when you're driving on road and once you make it to the seat well the seat itself you need to keep in mind is good enough only for two adults you cannot have three people sitting here unless you want to punish them now because of the wheel arches getting inside the cabin and eating away into the space the seat is quite narrow and because of that again if you look at the space there is no uh, complaint in terms of space now even with the driving seat adjusted to my driving preference i have a lot of leg room to spare of course headroom is no problem at all so space is not an issue but the issue is that because of the seat being narrow and your seating angle being not in sync with the front seat you cannot really slide your feet under the front seat so for doing that you need to place your legs a bit to the right or if you are on the left seat seat a bit to the left and that gives you a slightly skewed angle which will not be very comfortable in the long run but that said if you are going to be here for a short while again it is a comfortable seat to be in the seat itself is not quite bad it's got a decent uh, cushioning of course there's no armrest having that would have been really helpful but uh, the good thing is that you can liberate more uh, backrest angle for yourself so you just pull on to a lever here a string and you can take it as far as that so once with that done you can again put it back to the normal position so again if you compare it to the older thar it is a massive improvement and now finally you can have four people sitting here now that we have established the mahindra thar can seat four people what if the four of you were to take a road trip well in that case you would need boot space and as far as boot space is concerned well the mahindra thar does not offer quite a lot with the rear seats folded upright there is not much of space that you get at max you can probably put in a couple of medium size bags but if you are going to need more boot space you can create it and it's quite simple just flip the glass up and you can pull on these levers and the seats fold down and then you have quite a lot of space for yourselves talking about the performance bit of the new mahindra thar well it's an all new vehicle and it gets a new heart as well it gets now the mahindra's 2.2 liter m hawk diesel engine of course you can also have it with a petrol engine but the one that we are driving right now is the diesel one and we have it with a manual gearbox well the new thar also gives you the option of an automatic gearbox so more convenience if you want that Now coming back to the vehicle that we are driving now this motor is really fantastic if you compare it to the older thar and why is that allow me to explain 
Now the engine that powers the new Mahindra Thar is quite an impressive unit. Now the biggest change you'll notice if you are someone who's driven the old Thar is the fact that this is much more refined. The moment you start driving it, just a few seconds into driving this vehicle and you realize the refinement levels have gone up a lot. And if you look at the performance, well, of course, the power figures have gone up and as a result of that, the speed capabilities of the Thar have also improved. So no longer is it a, an uncomfortable vehicle to drive at high speeds, it can easily uh, cross your triple digit speeds and maintain them over the highway. So, so getting to an off-road location is also going to be much more enjoyable now unlike the older Thar wherein you could have fun only once you reach the off-road place. So uh, if you talk about the gearbox, well what we have here right now with us is a six-speed manual gearbox. Again, it's uh, paired well to the engine so as far as the, the drivability is concerned that's nice. You do not have to frequently downshift in the traffic and the torque kicks in uh, quite early so that's a good thing. So the biggest highlight for me then if you talk about the powertrain is the fact that this feels so much more civilized unlike the old agricultural feel that you got in the previous Gen Thar this one feels a lot more civilized this one feels as if you're driving a modern vehicle which belongs to these present times. Now it's not just the powertrain where the Mahindra Thar has evolved for good, it's also the way it rides and drives. Now the ride quality has improved leaps and bounds when you compare it to the older Thar, whereas the older Thar was genuinely and massively uncomfortable to drive in daily traffic conditions or on city roads. This one is much more better. This one soaks in bumps and road undulations in a much better manner. The suspension setup is again much more forgiving than the older one. And now coming to the most important bit about the Thar. Why would you buy it? Well, if you are someone who is an off-road enthusiast, well, this is the one to buy. So how does it perform off-road? Well, uh, as far as specs are concerned, you do have a high ground clearance, you do have a 4x4 system and there's a low ratio transfer case as well to get you out of those tricky situations. But then again, these are all things on the paper. How do they work in the real world? Let's find out. So is the new Mahindra Thar significantly better than its predecessor? And the simple answer to that is no. It's not significantly better, it is massively better. It looks great, it's got now better interiors, it's got more modern features which make the Thar a much more livable vehicle than its predecessor. It's good to drive, it's much more refined and the best part is it is still genuinely off-road capable. Now the prices for the Mahindra Thar have not been announced yet and that is going to happen soon and we expect the prices to start at just under rupees 10 lakh and go all the way till about 12.5 to 12.7 lakh. Now if Mahindra can manage that price, well the new Thar is undoubtedly going to be a steal and a massive, massive attraction in the market. The biggest point, however, is the fact that in the price bracket of 10 to 12 lakh rupees in the Indian market, even if you go beyond that price bracket, how many vehicles are there which are genuinely desirable that you dream of owning? I can't think of any. And that is precisely what the Mahindra Thar is. And that is why it's unparalleled. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button and press the bell icon and do not forget to like it and share it as well. Till the next time we meet again, please obey all traffic rules and stay safe.